Hey, in this next video, I'm going to give you three signs that you know that you're not in control of your home. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get on with the next video. Good evening, good morning, YouTube citizens. Hey, I'm back with another tip. There's um, about control. Three things, three signs that shows that you're not in control of your home. In 1 Timothy chapter three, it talks about a man that rules his house well. That rule requires you to be in control. Right now I'm in a car, I am not driving, I am a passenger. And the driver, my brother, brother David, is in control and I want him to be in control. I can sleep, I can relax, I can be on the phone, I can do videos and not worry about getting into an accident because my brother is in control. We live in a world that's anti-control or we believe that when we hear the world of uh, the, the husband is controlling, we think it's a bad thing. Here are the three signs to know that you are not in control of your own home. I wrote it down here. It says, if you have to check in with your woman, you're not in control. Uh, when I say that you have to check in with her, you got a lot of these simps. And I was one once, uh, once at one time where I felt like I had to always check in, like my wife was my, um, my mother or something. You are a man. The Bible says a man must leave his mother and father and cleave to his wife, and the two shall become one. You don't need to check into her. You're the control. Does does Yah check? Now, if we're supposed to be like Christ to the church, did Jesus Christ check in with the disciples? Sometimes he would just go off, and they didn't know where he was. So, <laughs> men, you don't need to check in with your woman. You don't need to let her check your phone. I mean, you are the man. Now, she needs to check in with you, but you don't need to check in with her. Two, if you have to stop what you're doing to attend to her needs, you're not in control. If you feel like, I mean, I can't tell you how many times when I talk to these Christians, especially some of the people in my past, and I don't talk to them as much, but when I talk to them, oh, I gotta go. I, I, I gotta go, my wife is calling me. Oh, my wife wants to do it, my wife. That is a clear sign that man is not in control. I don't care how much he says he's the head of his household. If the man is always gotta go because and uses his wife as an excuse why he can't stay longer on the phone with you or can't finish the meeting or finish the discussion, he is not in control, he is a simp, and that means you are a simp. Once again, you stay as long as you wanna stay. You go when you're ready to go. You don't need to tell him, oh, I gotta go because my wife is waiting on me. You just say, man, I got to go. I'm done with this conversation. That's how a man talks. And lastly, if she just doesn't clearly obey you, you should be able to tell your wife or your woman what to do and she should be trying to figure out how to do it and when to do it and, 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 and do everything in her power to do it with excellence. So if she's not obeying you, you're not in control. So anyway, I hope this guy stimulates thoughts, guys, but this is serious stuff. This is, if you're not in control, it, 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 it compromise your home. Children are depending on you. I lost eight children because I didn't know how to rule my house because I wasn't in control. And so I'm trying to help you guys so you don't make the same mistake that I made. Anyway, I hope this stimulated thought. Hope you have a good day. Shalom, shalom.